Hi, I'm Danica Ostrowski. Uh, I'm an artist based in Austin. I'm a Texas, Texas native from Houston originally. Um, I've been in Austin for about five years, um, or I guess six years, and um, not long before I moved to Austin, I actually did uh, the College Station Artist in Residency here at the Arts Council, and it was really helpful in getting me started in my career. Um, and now I'm here again, and I have a show here, and I'm super excited about it. Um, I paint landscapes, and I mostly do public lands and national parks. Um, I travel specifically to gather reference material for my paintings. I photograph, and I sketch, and I do small color studies. Um, and then I take all of that back to my studio and, and kind of work on these large-scale paintings um, that really I try to have the viewer feel very encapsulated in the scene that I paint. Um, you'll probably notice looking at all the work that color has a huge, huge role in my kind of creative process. Um, I try to find kind of the captivating colors that really make up um, the unique kind of um, feel or pulse of of different parks and different areas of the country. So that's about me. Uh, so this is the first piece kind of in the series uh, from all over the national parks and this one is from Joshua Tree National Park in California and I was really trying to capture kind of the um, warm and sunny summer day um, in the park there. And this was a series of smaller studies that I've been working on, um, kind of in this 8 by 8 inch format. Uh, this one is in Big Bend National Park, uh, looking off South Rim, and it um, captures kind of the, the twilight right hour right, at, um, right before sunset.
as opposed to working on such a large canvas. So these next are a couple pieces from Saguaro National Park over in Tucson. And um, this is kind of an example of me working large and small in the same location, but a little bit different scenes. Uh, I often find that parks have a very unique set of colors that sort of uh, define the location. And sometimes you can just use color to, to really capture uh, where you're at specifically. And I think this is a great job of um, kind of capturing the Saguaro National Park with the bright, bright orange, uh, desert floor surrounded by these really beautiful chartreuse plants um, and then off in the distance the blue mountains and I think both of them both of these pieces kind of capture the essence of Saguaro with the the towering cactus that some of them are you know almost 150 years old um, towering over the desert and casting some really beautiful shadows onto uh, that really beautiful coral color that you see in the desert this is in Canyon du a National Monument in Arizona, and you're, there's one area where you can hike down into the canyon instead of viewing it from above, and it's you have this really beautiful oasis um, kind of down in the canyon bottom where there, there is some water flowing through, and you get these beautiful cotton woods kind of, um, I think of them almost as like they're dancing, they have this kind of beautiful movement to them. Um, and especially in stark contrast to kind of the dry, um, stark orange that's all around them. Um, I really love the contrast between the color and also just between this like vibrancy of life in the trees versus the harsh desert that you wouldn't typically find something like this in. This is a piece from Rocky Mountain National Park in specifically in the Morion Park area. And um, there are these really interesting trees kind of in front of the mountainscape. And one of them had, it almost looked like a chunk had been taken out of it. And I just thought the shape of it was really interesting and um, really loved the movement that the trees along with kind of the grasses up in the foreground had to them. And we get into another um, smaller study. This one is from Big Bend National Park. Uh, this is on the Lost Mine Trail, and I've painted this area many times, um, and it's, it's one place that has sort of captured um, my creative interest, and in I, I kind of can't stop painting it, so this is one of many, many renditions of this area. These next three paintings are all from residencies I've done in national parks. So this first one is in Petrified Forest National Park in Arizona. Uh, I was lucky enough to stay there for two weeks uh, as their artist in residence and was able to paint outdoors every day and um, really soak in um, kind of the magnificence and importance of the, the park there. Um, so this is a piece I completed while in that residency. Um, and these next two were during a residency I did uh, in the Badlands up in South Dakota. Uh, I was up there for almost five weeks um, and it was a little snowy so I didn't quite get paint, to paint outside quite as much in that residency but I was able to get a lot of work done and, and be surrounded by just the absolute beauty of that park um, along with getting to learn a lot about the geological features of that area. Um, especially you can see in this image, there's lots and lots of layers um, that geologists really love to, to study because it can give them so much information um, because so many of those layers, geological layers, are exposed there. Um, and this next piece is also from my time in the Badlands as well. This is on the Door Trail, which is a little bit different area of the park. Um, and this was pretty much my first uh, opportunity to paint snow. Um, because I had, I'm had i based in Texas, obviously, and I don't get that a lot. So it was very snowy there, which was um, interesting from a Texan being put into the cold and from an artistic <laughs> perspective as well, painting something a little bit different than I'm used to. These next few um, are from Big Bend National Park. So these are some ocotillos, uh, which is by far my favorite plant and um, always has been. Little kid, I loved them and I called them squiggly plants. 
Um, these are some more um, uh, pieces from Big Bend. And this next one is another plant that I love. And when I was a kid, I called these Dr. Seuss plants. Um, these are obviously agaves, our century plants that are blooming um, also in Big Bend. And both of these kind of informed my, my work for this larger piece coming up, um, especially the Ocotillos. I love in Big Bend when you travel down a little bit towards the Rio Grande and you start getting to a lower elevation you come upon these fields and fields of, of Ocotillo and they're, they just um, almost start to blend together and I don't know there's something about the form of them that's like very captivating artistically for me. There's two more little guys and uh, this one is also from Saguaro National Park. Um, this one is at, uh, right before uh, sunset and the, the light when I there that day was just really really beautiful and I wanted to capture kind of the pastel colors that came out um, usually I think of the desert in it I think of really vibrant uh, saturated color but this one was a little bit this time that I was there was a little different and so capturing that in this piece was was kind of the, the goal for me and the last of the little pieces that I have and that show uh, is also in Big Bend. It's again another place that I've painted dozens of times. Um, the window is probably one of the most iconic features in Big Bend, at least in the Chisos Mountains area. Um, and again, there's just something about kind of the atmospheric perspective that as you look off into Mexico, you can just see the mountains fading away. Um, and it's just something that has captivated me always. This piece is looking off the south rim of the Chisos Mountains in Big Bend National Park. Uh, this is actually a little bit older painting for me, um, but one that was very instrumental in kind of getting me to the place where I'm at today as far as my style goes. Um, this was a really large painting and it was kind of um, emboldened my interest in painting very large. Um, again, trying to kind of bring the viewer into the actual scene and feel like you're almost surrounded by the painting. Um, and the south rim of uh, the Chisos is one of, it might be my favorite hike I've ever taken. I've done it twice and it's, it's a long and strenuous hike, but it, it is worth it with the beautiful views that you get at the end, um, like you can see depicted in this painting.